you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you have an awesome day. I appreciate you spending some time out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, I'm super excited because it is a Team Up Tuesday with Unfiltered 50s. We are way overdue for doing another collab together. I'm a little sad because originally we were supposed to be each doing a two looks, one palette using the new Lizzie McGuire ColourPop palette, but ColourPop somehow did not put her palette in her box, only sent her her blushes, but she still said I can use Lizzie for this video. She's gonna improvise with a new product. That way this video is like new spring makeup and my guess is gonna be I'm gonna do something bold because I already have an idea of what I want to do and I would laugh if she does something more natural. That way you guys get the best of both worlds. I know, wrong show, but still Disney, kind of appropriate. So I hope you guys are excited to see our two looks for spring. I will link my collabs playlist to watch previous videos and if you're visiting from Jeannie's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. Not gonna lie, I purposely bought this palette for nostalgia reasons. I loved Lizzie McGuire as a kid. It was definitely one of my favorite shows. Disney had some pretty poppin' shows back in the day, and gotta say, one of my guilty pleasures is binging it on Disney+. Plus. Dreams Are Made Up is still a bop to this day, and I just love that sing to me palo. Big energy right there. This is the inside of the palette, and I love the cartoon right here on the mirror. So, so cute. I do like the colors that they chose for this color, so I do feel like it's very appropriate for that time. I also think it would've been nice to maybe include some of like the iconic colors of the Lizzie cartoon, but nonetheless, I think it was still a fantastic color story. I do have some similar in my collection, so I probably will try to do like a TikTok Reels shorts to do some swatch comparisons. That is like one of my favorite things to do. I would've done it in this video, but the purpose of this video is to show you some new spring makeup, so that means I will at least do swatches for you guys to see how each shade looks. And I cannot wait to try this on the eyes. This purple and lime green combination is just going to be fire. I feel it in my bones. Bye bye please done and done outfit rememberer. Dear diary, cutie, ugh, hello fabulous. Don't freak, so mature, outfit repeater, digital bean. And this is the entire palette swatched. I think the whole palette swatched really nice with the exception of Dope Freak. It is a super light color. I definitely see building it up in my future. I really wanna use that shade and the look that I have in mind, so we'll definitely see how it applies versus swatching because of course this is just swatches. It's my bare arm, no primer or concealer to act as a base. I'm just taking my finger, dipping into the pan and swiping down as opposed to dipping in with a brush and blending out on primed eyes. I think Outfit Rememberer, Dear Diary, Hello Fabulous, and Digital Bean are my absolute favorite shades from this palette. They are just right up my alley. And the palette felt and looked just like that standard ColourPop formula that you get. They are very good about consistency amongst palettes. We are gonna start out with the shade Digital Bean. And I'm taking the shade to create a cut crease wing line. I do go up a little bit higher since I have hooded eyes and I really want this color to be prominent and not lost in the remainder of the look. Not gonna lie, this has been one of my absolute favorite go-to ways to creating looks lately. I'm just obsessed how it turns out. Next, we're gonna take the shade Dear Diary. And this shade, oh bitch, is going to be used in like the first third.
and then Hello Fabulous for the remaining portion. Going to take the LA Girl Shockwave Lighter in the shade I Vivid. And then don't freak to smoke out the lower lash. The shade is super light, having to build it up quite a bit. And then finally adding some Tarte Tartise eyeliner on my lid. I'm going to take the style Abundance by Flop Beauty for lashes. Lastly, Outfit Rememberer for the Inner Corners. FYI, this shade picks up a lot. There's definitely some fallout and kick up. Quick points I wanna highlight on this palette. I love the shade Digital Bean. It is absolutely gorgeous and it really just glided on my eye. Really nice. I did prime with the concealer, so I did find myself having to go over a couple of times to really get my line straightened out, but once it was on, it just looks so good, so vibrant. The shimmers Dear Diary and Hello Fabulous are so pretty on the eyelids. It's a great combination. If I didn't do like that cut crease look, I probably would have gone with a halo using those two shades. I think that would have been so pretty. Like Hello Fabulous on both the outer and inner, and then Dear Diary in the middle. Oh, that would just be so pretty. The only shade I ran into some issues was Don't Freak. It's not as popular as I would like it to be. Oh, it has so much potential. It looks so vibrant in the pan and when you apply it, it just looks a little dull, not as bright and popping. I did try to build and build and build and this is as good as I was able to get. And then the shade Outfit Rememberer, it kind of crumpled a little bit more than Hello Fabulous and Dear Diary. I did experience some kick up when I dipped my brush into it and then some fallout on pawn application. But overall, I had a really good first experience creating this look. I can't wait to do more. It this color story caught your attention it's going to perform like most of the color pop palettes or you can be like me and just buy it for nostalgia purposes i'm glad i have it in my collection but i'll definitely go through because i have like a handful of palettes that i feel like are kind of similar to this color story if this is one not on your radar or you're trying to find other options but we're not done yet because i also picked up the blushes as well i almost got the glosses but realistically i probably wouldn't use that component anymore it was so iconic back
back in the day. I don't know, I'm really liking the doe foot applicator for like that precise application because if I'm applying gloss, it's because I either putting it over a lipstick or over some lip liner and just that is just probably like not like the best, kind of like that Carmex chapstick applicator. It probably would just create more of a mess for me. But before we apply the blushes, I'm gonna quickly bronze. This is the Samantha March Ofer Cosmetics Bronzer Duo in the shade River. I love this bronzer so much. I don't use it as much because I'm afraid to hit pan. On one side, it's glowy. On the other side, it's matte. But when you swirl together, I'm just obsessed. It creates this beautiful balance. I think that this is gonna be like a great spring go-to bronzer for like that more dewy look. And I feel like those dewy illuminosity looks are a lot more trendy these days. I think that this is gonna be a great option if you're not into cream. I say I was not into glowy bronzers until this particular one. So the first blush shade we have is You Are Magnifice. So pretty. Love the little heart imprints. Haven't even applied the shade on my cheeks yet and I'm already obsessed. This blush is like a go-to shade for me. One dip and it's already just absolute fire. I could definitely build it up a little bit more because I'm a blush hoe, but this is like perfect amount. <sighs> this poor cute little print in here is not gonna last that long, is it now? And then the second blush is Delish. And these are the two blushes side by side. This shade is a lot cooler than the first shade, but then again, one dip in and blend it out, it is so perfect. Granted, there was a lot of kick up generated, but it's just so pigmented. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be a shade I would have to build up and up just because of how light that it looks, but that pigment is there. So both cheeks only have one dip in and just blend it out for a while on the cheeks. It is just so gorgeous. I love both of them so much. Of course, you are magnifies. A little bit more up my alley being a lot more bold. I just love bold blushes. I can't help myself, but like a more everyday blush but if you still want like that dramatic effect delish is going to be a great option it is just so pretty pigmented in there and then for highlighter i'm going to take the ofra samantha march in the shade start inspired this is one of my absolute favorite highlighters as well and i just feel like it's going to complement the eyes and the cheeks super nice And then lastly, I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Aria on the lips. I hope it complements the shade Digital Bean really nice, but it might pull a little bit more purple on the lipstick. Oh, we might have a good match. I hope you guys enjoyed creating this full spring look with me. I would love to know, did you guys pick up the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop collection? What are some of your favorite combinations? Do you love the blushes as much as I do? And if you picked up the glosses, how was your experience? I would love to know all the details in the comments below. And please don't forget to check out Unfiltered 50s. I love collabing with her. This is not gonna be the last collab. You're going to continue to hear her name over and over on my channel. She is just so kind, sweet, supportive, really knows her stuff as well when it comes to makeup, skincare. She really focuses on beauty over 50. Cannot wait to see what products she used and the looks that she created. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.